Today, a lot of people heavily rely on AI in their daily lives using its generative abilities, not knowing the impact it has on our environment. Data centers, the backbone of AI operations, consume large amounts of electricity and water to stay cool. Experts predict that by 2026, energy consumption by data centers will double compared to 2022. The improvement in AI may actually improve the environment because we can find better ways, you know, inside the combinatorial space of possible solutions to environmental issues. Each time you ask a chatbot to do something, there's an environmental cost that comes with it. Water is an essential element for power generation. This water is also used to cool the powerful servers that run AI. A Google data center in Chile intended to use 168 liters of water per second faced backlash due to local droughts. That project was put on hold after protests. Environmentalists see AI as a powerful tool for addressing environmental issues like tracking emissions and mapping destruction, particularly data centers which generate e-waste, consume large amounts of water, and depend on unsustainable mining of critical minerals. As AI continues to expand, the reliance on fossil fuels for electricity grows as well. It's estimated that training a large AI model releases five times more carbon dioxide than a car does in its entire lifetime. SB 1047 was an act that would have regulated AI models. Governor Gavin Newsom vetoed this law because the bill did not distinguish between high-risk AI systems that handle sensitive data and lower-risk applications. For the Mustang Morning News, this is Jonah Abraham and McKenna King.